Good afternoon. I am Colonel Billy Wilson, the commander of basic military training. I'm glad we had this opportunity to uh, have a discussion. So, why are you here? I will tell you that you are here to train both your body and your mind. Be better every day. Be better. You are here to train your body and your mind. Not one or the other, both. I often ask new recruits, why the Air Force? And I often get, well, I want to be part of an institution. I want to be part of something that is larger than myself. Remember why you are here. Remember those people that came before you. Everything that you do needs to come with a passion and a vigor that is unmatched. There will be stress. It will be stressful. And I will tell you that it is stressful by design. So the question remains, when you start feeling stressed out, what are you going to do? Are you going to react? Or are you going to respond? I expect you to respond to the demands that are being placed upon you, pushing you out of your comfort zone, forcing you to grow, because that's why you're here. You're here to be transformed from what you were to what you need to be, to what your nation needs you to be. Each and every one of you will earn your place here. This will not be given to you. And as you earn your place here and head toward graduation day, having earned it, you will have a sense of accomplishment and fulfillment. And it will be meaningful to you. And as you depart this place, you will be proud of what you've accomplished. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the arrival of our official party. Please remain standing for the invocation given by Chaplain Mendoza. I invite you all to pray in your tradition as I pray in mine. Heavenly Father, today we gather to honor the dedication and the success of these outstanding airmen. During this ceremony, as they display their precision and accuracy, May it create a sense of pride and commitment to the call that they have stepped up to answer. We recognize each individual's upbringing and the life experiences that have allowed them to overcome every challenge over the past few weeks. To each family member, each friend, each colleague who has served as a source of inspiration to these men and women, we say thank you. And so we ask now, dear Lord, that as they begin this incredible journey of serving our great nation, that you would continue to surround them with opportunities that push them beyond their weakness. Place mentors in their path who will speak life into the times of uncertainty. And as they graduate today, may they continue to serve with integrity, service, and excellence. We ask these things in your holy name, amen. Thank you, Chaplain. Please be seated. Good morning, and welcome to today's Department of the Air Force Basic Military Training Graduation Ceremony. We would like to introduce our distinguished guests, beginning with the host and reviewing official for today's ceremony. The Commander, Department of the Air Force Basic Military Training, Colonel Billy Wilson, Jr., accompanied by his wife, Liza.
the Senior Enlisted Leader, Department of the Air Force Basic Military Training, Chief Master Sergeant Daniel Anderson, accompanied by his wife, Stephanie. Also in attendance with us today, the Commander, 37 Training Wing, Colonel Will Cooper. The Command Chief, 37 Training Wing, Chief Master Sergeant Carlos Damien. The Individual Mobilization Augmentee to the 37 Training Wing Commander, Colonel Jennifer Anderson. The Division Chief, National Security Agency Commercial Engagement Center, Mr. Joseph Torcaso, accompanied by his wife, Christina. The Medical Enlisted Force Chief, Air Education Training Command, Chief Master Sergeant Paul Ellis. The 2011 Blue Rope of the Year, Senior Master Sergeant Brian Fisher, United States Air Force retired, accompanied by his wife, Jessie. Although time does not permit us to introduce all of our distinguished guests, the 737 Training Group is proud to welcome each of you. We hope you enjoy today's ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, prior to today's ceremony, we would like to recognize our newest military training instructors. These instructors have undergone a rigorous five-month training pathway comprised of formal academic classes and task qualification requirements. They have earned the distinct honor of donning the dark blue campaign hat. From the 321st Training Squadron, Technical Sergeant Xavier Ingram. At this time, we ask all military training instructors, past and present, to stand in a sign of unity as our newest instructors recite the MTI Pledge. The military training instructor hat that I wear is a symbol of honor, professionalism, integrity, service, and excellence in all I do. My job is one of the most important to the Air Force, and I will spare no effort to properly prepare men and women for military service. I am dedicated, I am dedicated to the principles of fairness, fairness firmness, and honesty. honesty. I strive for perfection and reject mediocrity, both in my own personal behavior and in the performance of those I lead. I am an Air Force, Air Force military training instructor, instructor, and above all, I am an American Airman. Airman. dark blue campaign hat these instructors received today has been the symbol of the MTI Corps since 1974. These instructors will carry on the traditions and esprit de corps of the United States Air Force as they pass on their knowledge to our newest generation of airmen.
Our Commander of Airmen is Chief Master Sergeant Daniel Anderson. Colonel Wilson will review today's ceremony.
over the last seven and a half weeks, the men and women before you have transformed from civilians into motivated, disciplined warriors with a foundation to serve in the most powerful military the world has ever known. Once they leave basic military training, they will continue on to technical training to learn the skills needed to perform in one of 118 specialties. They will then move on to serve at one of 84 installations around the globe or work directly with our sister services. As they move on to technical training, they will continue to focus on adapting to military requirements, achieving occupational proficiency, and learning how to be highly productive members of the armed forces. These men and women will prepare for increased responsibilities and must ensure they are trained, qualified, and ready to deploy and operate in an expeditionary environment. These graduates are the future of our national defense and will pave the way for the generations that will follow. Seven Thirty Seven Training Group, United States Air Force, Joint Base San Antonio, Lackland, Texas. Subject, Commander's Excellence. The Commander's Excellence streamer is awarded to the 320th Training Squadron, Flight 503, for their significant accomplishments demonstrating teamwork, excellence, and esprit de corps during the period of 24 June 2024 to 9 August 2024. Signed, Billy Wilson Jr., Colonel, United States Air Force. The Commander's Excellence Flight was led by Technical Sergeant Divins and Technical Sergeant Price. Of the hundreds of thousands of American citizens that enter the workforce each year, less than 1% have joined the ranks of the United States military. The graduates before you have reached a milestone in their military journey and will require your continued support to assist them in their future endeavors.
please stand as the colors come forward and for the playing of the national anthem. Be seated.
Today's graduates have proven through academic studies, military training, physical training, and the development of teamwork that they are ready to take their place in the United States Armed Forces. As our graduates turn left onto the bomb run to pass and review, they will march over the enlisted heroes walk. The men and women recognized on the pavers have been awarded our nation's highest honors, representing heroic and unselfish actions as members of the United States military in armed conflict. Their decorations include nine medals of honor, 23 Air Force crosses, and 162 silver stars awarded for bravery during encounters with hostile enemy combatants. These enlisted heroes serve to inspire all service members to execute their duties courageously and with honor in their service to this great nation. to direct your attention to our national, state, and territorial flags. As these flags pass in review, please stand and render the appropriate courtesies for our national flag. As a reminder, military members and veterans in uniform will stand at attention and render a salute. We ask that our civilian guests stand and place their right hand over their heart. Veterans and military members not in uniform may either render a salute or place their right hand over their heart. Once the flags have passed, Please be courteous of others and be seated in order to allow all our guests the opportunity to view the flights as they pass in review. in review, our commander of airmen is Chief Master Sergeant Daniel Anderson, Senior Enlisted Leader, Air Force Basic Military Training, hometown Belmont, New Hampshire. He is accompanied by Senior Master Sergeant Julio Alarcón, United States Air Force Retired, hometown Patterson, New Jersey, and Master Sergeant April Ramirez, United States Air Force Retired, hometown Cibolo, Texas. Technical Sergeant Adrian Cook, military training instructor, hometown Cala Mesa, California.
Flight 506, led by Staff Sergeant Brandon Spacer, military training instructor, hometown Grand Junction, Colorado. From the 321st Training Squadron, Flight 507, led by Technical Sergeant Xavier Ingram, military training instructor, hometown Charlotte, North Carolina. Uh. Hey. Uh. Flight 508, led by Staff Sergeant Joshua Raver, military training instructor, hometown Spokane, Washington. From the 324th Training Squadron, Flight 511, led by Technical Sergeant Akeem Anderson, military training instructor, hometown Homestead, Florida. The Color Guard from the 737 Training Support Squadron, led by Master Sergeant Hello. Luciano Rosano, military training ah. instructor trainer, hometown Tucson, Arizona. Hey. Hey. From the 324 Training Squadron, flights 515 and 516, hey. led by Technical hey. Sergeant Paul Bree, hey. military hey. training instructor, hometown Dexter, Missouri. From the 331st Training Squadron, B Squadron Staff, led by Master Sergeant Joseph Thompson, Master Military Training Instructor, hometown Hewer Heights, Ohio. Yeah. Uh. Hey. From the 324 Training Squadron, Flight 512, led uh. by Technical Sergeant Ryan Weimer, hey. Military yeah. Training Instructor Trainer, hometown Rochester, Minnesota. Head up! 513. Led by Technical uh. Sergeant Taylor Fields, military training instructor trainer, hometown Long Island, New York. Uh. 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 Flight 514, led by Staff Sergeant Devontae Hardaway, military training instructor. Hometown, Vero Beach, Florida. Hey. Hey. From the 331st Training Squadron, Flight 517, led by Master Sergeant Richard Jackson, military training instructor, hometown, Savannah, Georgia. Flight 518, led by Technical Sergeant Shandrika Goodson, military training instructor, hometown Hope, Arkansas. Flight 519, led by Master Sergeant Bartholomew Zaccardi, military training instructor, hometown Atlanta, Georgia. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the playing and singing of the United States Air Force song.
Thank you. You may be seated. Musical support for this morning's ceremony has been provided by the airmen from the 321st Training Squadron, performing under the direction of Technical Sergeant Matthew Zettelmoyer, Military Training Instructor Trainer, hometown Augusta, Georgia. These individuals have been hand-selected to perform for today's ceremony. In addition to completing all basic training syllabus and training requirements, Drug and Bugle Corps members commit additional training hours for practice throughout their weeks of training. Ladies and gentlemen, rendering a flying salute to our graduating airmen are two T-38 Talons. These aircraft are from the 12th Flying Training Wing, 12th Operations Group. <laughs>
would like to take a moment to congratulate all of our honor graduates as well as their families. Basic military training honor graduates distinguish themselves by being ranked in the top 10% of all graduates in their class. The exceptional personal dedication, integrity, service before self, and sustained excellence they displayed throughout basic military training earned them this outstanding distinction. As the flights march forward for the oath of enlistment, we would like to thank all of the families and friends who are here in support of those graduating today for your support to our mission and the greatest air power the world has ever known. Your words of encouragement has helped motivate these graduates through seven and a half weeks of basic military training. Ladies and gentlemen, Chief Master Sergeant Anderson will now come forward and address our graduating class. Experience stresses and pressures that unless you've been in NCI, you will never understand. 
to be told by the institution, hey, we want airmen that are disciplined, we want airmen that are committed, that are resilient, that can have, you know, persevere in the face of adversity, right? But at the same time, have someone looking at you like, hold on a second, second what, what are you doing? doing? Hey, don't be too hard on them, right? That's the title of the NCIS on every single day. As they try to make your sons, your daughters, the best versions of themselves each and every day. I will, I will tell you right now that unless you wore a campaign hat and you've done this job, you can never truly understand just how maddening it can be to tell a trainee for the 5,000 times of command to their soccer and facing movement. Or the, or the joy that you should feel when you're going on the train just as the sun's coming up and it's a brisk 68 degrees outside. Or what it's like to have a training and airman who graduates and goes out and reaches back to you and says, Sir or ma'am, you're the closest thing to a father figure I've ever had. You're the closest thing to a mother figure I've ever had. And how fulfilling this job can be. But beyond that, all of the families that go ahead and back them up and support them. Because every minute that they spend with your sons and daughters is a minute that they're sacrificing with their sons and daughters and their spouses. So military training instructors, for everything that you do, for our airmen, for the Air Force, and for the nation, thank you. Welcome, Chief. Because one day, those opportunities pass by. 
and then you'll find yourself on possibly a different path. One day when those opportunities are gone, the time's up. So do the best that you can while you're in service. Be the best version of yourself, the best airman that you can be, the best wing that you can be. For everything that you are about to do in service of the nation over the next four to six years and possibly beyond, thank you. I knew they weren't going to respond. They're locked in right now. Hey, let's try that one more time. All right, hey, everybody stands. I need your help. We're going to stay together on three, and hopefully they respond this time. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you, Chief Master Sergeant Anderson. Please stand as Colonel Wilson will now administer the oath of enlistment. Instructors, place your flights at attention. Thank you, Colonel Wilson. Please remain standing while our graduates recite the Airmen's Creed and for the departure of the official party. <laughs> I am an American Airman. I am a warrior. I have answered my nation's call. I am an American Airman. My nation is alive by the way. I am faithful to a proud heritage, a tradition of honor, and a legacy of valor. and you know 
uniform will stand at attention and render a salute as the U.S. flags pass. We ask that our civilian guests stand and place their right hand over their heart. Veterans and military members not in uniform may either render a salute or place their right hand over their heart. Once the flags have passed, please be courteous of others and be seated in order to allow all our guests the opportunity to view the flights as they pass. As a reminder, the flights are positioned as viewed from the bleachers to the left of the reviewing stand, flights 503, 504, 505, 506, 507, 508, 511. And to the right of the reviewing stand, flights 512, 513, 514, 517, 518, and 519. Please remain.